Tyler Liberty, welcome to Braemar Arena. Bad save out of the shoot. It is Pee Wee B2 Championship action of the O'Connor Tournament featuring Edina Black and Edina, uh, let's get this straight, it's a little bit different, and Edina White. The jerseys are inverted, so the white team, get this straight, the white team is wearing green, the black team is wearing white. And those of you that are viewing will probably have a good clue as to what's happening there. Puck is played back up through center. On it now for the Edina White team was number four, Ben Reppenhagen. It's going to be sent back in. These two teams battled their way through a large pool of teams to find their way into the final round game, playing their second of the day. So they'll be tested. There's a shot in on goal. Got stopped and handled and it's turned right back up ice. Porter Johnson was there momentarily and Haberman was there as well. Of course his dad Fred, the great pond hockey legend, the creator of the U.S. Pond Hockey Championships and he's guiding his team here to this championship round matchup. Clayton Haberman, his son, plays that one into the zone. Sent right back in and behind his own net they go with it with Jack Marker. Off the side of the cage, poke to safety. And it'll be Dinah Black to clear it back up at the center. That one gets underneath the stick of Rep Reppenhagen. Parents wearing the white sweaters of their kids here tonight in support of the Dinah White team wearing their green jerseys on the ice. Carrying the puck to the left wing side, it's Cole Kuchokas. Stick check to the neutral zone as the puck's bumped off the wall. Back through center it goes, and that one's whistled down. This, folks, is our fourth of six championship games that you can be seeing right here on EdinaTourney.com. Open it up with Squirt B championship game. It was Edina Gold beating the falling rather to Edina Gray by a score of six to four in a thrilling contest. In the Squirt C action, it was Minnetonka with a late goal, the only one of the game, one nothing win. That over Moorhead. Then in the Pee Wee C championship game, just got over not long to go. As Bloomington Jefferson three and Edina nothing. Back the other way comes Schiefert with it to the corner off his stick. Nicholas Moores is there. Pinching down off the left wall and back to center it goes. Kearney across the line. Wrist shot. Cool little glove save turned in there by Jake Bratton. As he'll hang on, the faceoff will come up to his left. Puck will be played back in behind the net. Off the end line, there's Johnson with the save. Bratton the rebound, another rebound. Bratton makes two saves. Great work there, spading that one out. Cliff Aikens placed up to the left wing. Now it's going to be gathered in by the stick of Klarkowski. He'll take it off wing and on goal. Shot and a save. Looking back behind. And nothing doing there was the Dinah goaltender, Patrick Bennett. Now it's Rose who plays that one in wide of the cage. And from the left point, pinching down, it's Reppenhagen. They'll look out, back out of the zone they come. Ronsfeld with it, carries it low behind the net. He's bothered on the play by Matt Porter. Ronsfeld will cycle back in behind the net. From the low goal mouth area, it's going to be gathered in by Reppenhagen again. He's going to look to carry away. Not a lot of whistles in this one. Tons of flow. Through center ice. It's going to be turned off the wall by Dyka. Now it's Gullickson with it. Nate Gullickson dangles through traffic. That's wide of the net. Bennett looks on to his right. Back in behind the net. Picked up again. Edina White on the puck as they play that up through the neutral zone. Getting away from Dyka as Rose putting on the wheels. Rink wide pass and the knee one. Haberman. His backhand attempt trickles wide of the cage. Yeah. 
the neutral zone. Morris is there as he's going to play this one through. Swatted out there, but offside the call. You can also see this game live, scoring and online. By the way, be sure to check out EdinaJourney.com. We have all the scores, results, and statistics for you. It's been a lot of fun managing this tournament and seeing it come to life with all of these teams from throughout the metro area and, of course, from North Dakota, South Dakota, and Canada participating in this. We've had teams in all of Edina tournaments that have come this way via Colorado, Alaska, and many other locations as well. So uh, it's it's been well received. There's a puck that gets through. They score! Latin makes the initial save, but I think it's Kozlak that takes the rebound that rattled in the wickets and pumped that one home for the one to nothing lead for Edina White. 21-14. There you go, 21 from 14 is your official scoring on that one. And they take the one to nothing lead with 6.45 to go in the period. First period that is, and we're just underway here. And the neutral zone it goes, this has been an infraction free affair so far. Moores plays it off the boards. Chips it up to the left point. Cliff Akins is there. Down the wall it goes. Reiners is there. Billy Colslack was your goal scorer there. Back behind the net. Morris tries to guide it to the right wing on the ring, but nothing doing there. Nice defensive posture by Porter Johnson, and he's going to carry it up the ice with speed. Add a man toward the net, but that was snuffed out by Cliff Akins. He's going to play it along the right wing wall to center ice it goes. And it's going to be handled by Reppenhagen, and he plays that one rink wide, and that one's going to be whistled down offside. As we'll bring it back up into the neutral zone area. Parkowski takes the face off for Black against Henry Watson of White. Shot off the face mask there of Bennett. He's hearing some Tweety Birds. From the left side, right side rather, long wrist shot by Enfeld, what sails wide of the cage. And back into the neutral zone it goes. Buckley played back in, wide of the net. Bennett will let it go off the end wall for Reppenhagen who puts on the brakes. He had some footsteps in Klarkowski. Now it's Reppenhagen with it. Plays it up to the right wing side and out of the zone they come. On the move, overstepping, and that's going to be gained across the line. Wrist shot wide of the net. Johnson is there. Summerness is there. And a tripping call coming up. The first infraction here in the contest. It'll be called on the team in white, or check that, the team in green, known as Edina White. After this game, of course, there's the Bantam C Championship. That's going to be followed by the Bantam B2. Porter with it. Back behind the net. Looks to clear the glass. Can't get it. One to nothing is a score in favor of Edina White wearing their green sweaters. Power play is on now. Aikens plays that around the left wing wall, it's cleared to neutral. Off the boards and sent right back into the zone. Back behind the net it goes on it is Griffin Dyka. Gets away from one man, he's gonna race up the ice. Pope checked at the line, but it's gonna be gathered in off the left wing side by Shogren. Shogren carries behind the net. Big frame on the puck to the corner as he's checked off it. Tried to regain possession, that's off Dyka and back into center ice. Backpedaling and looking in and playing that deep is Aikens. Behind the net it goes. Guided along the left wing wall by Matt Porter. A couple bodies go down. And the puck is poked to safety back through center. With Aikens with it. He looks up through the middle. Nice pass there on the transition game. Swatted out of the zone and cleared to safety by Edina White. They're wearing their green if you've just joined us to Add to the confusion. All these Edina teams have to have all the colors of the rainbow because there's so many. Puck sent right back in. 
And there's 25 to go in the power play time for Edina Black. 327 to go in the period and one to nothing your score. Schiefert makes a neat play. He has numbers down low in the shot. They score in the slot area there. Gage Riders evens it up at one. That was a gorgeous setup. 11 from 12. Great job on the play there by Jonathan Schiefer to hold the puck. Finds the oncoming Gage Riders who slaps it home and beats Bennett. Not much he could do there. And we're even at one. Back the other way they come, not to be denied. Oh, a chance there, looking to slice and dice was Henry Watson, checked that that was Reppenhagen. Billy Kozlak, who has his team's goal, had the stick on the puck there for a moment, gets it back to the high slot area, and out of the zone they come. From the left wing side, on it, it's Sabino. That's Ronsfeld with it, back behind the net. Kozlak comes over to the near wall. Outlets, right wing side, 2.33 to go in the period. And Haberman wanted to make a play at the line. That one was just whistled down offside. That's a face off in the neutral zone. They jostle from the right wing side, back up ice they go, thrown in deep by Henry Watson. The hard dump finds the stick of Kearney, plays behind the net, wraparound attempt, wanting to go short, short side was Watson. Tried to center the puck, couldn't quite get it through, and out of the zone comes Edina Black. Played to an open wing, Aikens comes over to the wall, plays it up the boards, and that's picked off neatly there by Carlson. Carlson is there, that gets through traffic. And here comes Edina Black out of the zone. Cabino with it. Tries to make a move to the outside, but he was stopping the play by Joseph Sullivan. Kearney throws that one in deep, 140 to go in the period. Aikens behind his own net. Counters back to the right wing side, that's deflected off a stick off the oncoming forecheck check of Carlson. And the puck sent back in deep. That one too far to the line. It's going to be Porter Johnson with a shot. Ooh, nearly fouled the high blocker pad side. Post is there. There's a wrister deflected rebound. Oh, short side just failed to flip. Puck is cleared off traffic. Things are brewing down low for Edina White. Off the side of the cage, 105 to go in the period. Great chances here. Johnson gets the puck back. Guides it down the wall. Rose plays it, Post is sort of picked on the play. Sliding over from the point was Moores to play back in behind. Great pressure here by Edina White. They wanted to play it to an oncoming Johnson. Instead, Moores finds Johnson. Nice pass off the right wing side. Pad save and a beauty. Branton was there to make the save. There's another chance it sneaks through. 39 to go in the period. Great momentum here by Edina White. They cannot clear the zone. Off the skates and here they come back out of the zone. Look out. Bodies everywhere, pa uh, coaches want a penalty and they're not gonna get it, but instead they get the offside call. Played off the left wing side across the line, it's Reiners, he has his team's goal. We're tied at one with 18 to go in the first. Kozlak tried to play it through Dyka. Had to reach back to catch that pass. Got it to the center. Played it to an open wing off the right side. Kozlak is there. And that hits Peterson. They'll find an opening past Peterson, and it's going to be Schiefert. And that does it for the period. And a good one, to say the least, for these two teams. One to one after one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, one to one, very aptly put. Mission Impossible. We have to solve nothing. That from your color commentator, your uh, public address announcer Pat Milan, also working the tunage here from Braemar Arena. Left wing side, Cole Black is there. Takes the two hander from Dyke. Turns over in front of the penalty box area. Cole Black again as a man of the net. That's Averman with a chance, and that's Brant had to be big on that one. Back out of the zone they come. Here come the Hornets on the move. Carrying it to the outside, swinging it to the top of the crease area. Inside, glove, save and a beauty. That one by Branton taking that one away from Gage Reiners, bidding for his second of the, of the game. Aikens is there from the left point to pinch. Klarkowski comes away, wants a drop pass. Aikens comes away with it. They'll turn and play that one up. Sliding down from the left side was Marker. Gets a stick on it. Eldon at the line. And turning away with the loose puck now. It's going to be Owen Summerness. He's checked on the play. They spin it up the wall. Marker is there to try to hold in. Nice job with body positioning using the feet. Numbers down low. They'll make a move to the goal mouth area. They nearly had Bennett leaning. Marker again from the right point. He's going to play it right back in behind. Now the pressure being applied by Dinah Black. Aikens with it. That one hits traffic. Sliding over to the far side to take the puck. It's funny how the pressure was there. Here's a two on one. Look out. Clarkson. Shoots, pad save, and a big rebound. Watson was there. Oh, what an opportunity and set up there. Carlson that was, rather, as that one was sent back through behind the net. Puck will be rung up to the right wing wall. Down goes Carlson on the play. Johnson is there, playing it through traffic. Was number 14, Joe Klarkowski. Outlet. Back the other way they come. Porter Johnson on the play, but it's turned over at the line. Dinah Black on it. There's a shot that hits a pair of skates. It was Nate Gullickson that made the bid. And it's going to be brought back the other way by Jake Johnson. He plays to the goal mouth area. Turned and break out to the left wing side. Crisp on that. Shogren plays it to the right wing side of the nifty pass. He found his man on the play and Nate Gullickson, but it's turned over. And back up ice they come. Fire wagon hockey here from Braemar Arena. Glad to have you on board. Gullickson walks to the forehand, but those hit the big boots of Ben Reppenhagen. Reppenhagen back behind his net, gets away from one man, stays on the puck, plays it ahead in a pair of skates. That was post. Habino comes away with it. He's pickpocketed. Reppenhagen back the other way. He was checked, and the puck is played to an open wing. Porter gets good position, handles the puck, gains center, gets past one man. Checked off his stick as they continue to battle. Aikens outlets neatly on the near side. On the puck, that's Schieffert with it. As that hits traffic on its way through, off the Aikens stick, it's going to be Dyka that will come back into the zone and take over. Dyka will turn back up ice on the move, sends some sauce, but that had a bounce to it. Instead, it's going to be Sullivan with 8.09 to go in the period. From the slot area, holding. They're going to carry it low, losing an edge as he is making the move. It was number 11, Gage Reiners. Now up the right wing side they go. That one too far. Kozlak tried to hustle it down, couldn't quite get there in time. Don't forget, folks, we've got more championship action coming up for you here at edinaattorney.com. It'll be the Bantam C Championship. We have two more to go after this one, Bantam C and Bantam B2. So be sure to check that one out. We have uh, plenty of great games going on. Edina White and Edina Green. That is scheduled to begin at 640. Right on pace to get that started. Keeping to the strict Braemar Arena ice skip. 
That one is off the glove. High stick is your call to bring it back into the neutral zone. All the way down, I should say. And we'll face off in the Edina Black Zone. Back in behind the net it goes. Body contact. We'll play off the end boards. Sliding over to make the play with Kozlak, albeit momentarily. Here they come out of the zone. Good looking on goal. Scores! Oh, what a goal there. Edina Black takes the 2-1 lead. Three unassisted three. That Number was three unassisted. Bronze felt that made the play and delivered the goods. Hawken Ronsfeld. Looking to build on that 2-1 lead. Here they come across the line. That hits a pair of skates and Greppenhagen brings it back up with a three on two. They've got numbers. Carlson on the right. Going to the net was Watson. They missed the mark. Carlson behind the net for Rod. Watson with it. That hits traffic on its way in. I believe that was Kristen Johnson. Oh, like trip. Hands up in the air on the benches. Here's a breakaway in on goal. Scores! Oh, my word. Rodisfeld again. A little how's she going on the delayed penalty. Gives his club the three to one lead. Right down 17 for the trip. It just needs to get recorded. And then uh, three scored the goal. And on the previous goal, add 16 for an assist. There you have it, yeah. Got all that? Because I've forgotten it already. So oh, there you go. So add number 16 for an assist on the first goal when you get a chance, Joey Henches, after this one's recorded. I think that one was on a, I'm not sure why, I can't even remember what they said there, so I know what she says about forgetting it all. Three to one the score in favor of Edina Black wearing the white sweaters. This is the championship. Let's listen in. Hawken Rod is fed his second goal of the game. Time of that goal is 5.34. Back up to the point, but not out. Elvin Neat. Shot doesn't find its way through. And a backhand that's steered away by Patton. Nice save there. That gets away from Shobrin. Morris comes up on it. And there's Johnson nearly made a play. That hit Shobrin's boot. And the turnover ensues. Sent off the glass and back in behind the net. On it now, it's going to be swung around the wall. That was played by Porter Johnson to the neutral zone. It goes, holding and looking. Off the legs of post. Aikens takes over as he's going to look to his right. Aikens sends it through the neutral zone. That's off the stick and played to the near wall. Sent right back in. Moores is there on the puck. He's going to guide it over the left wing. Nice touch pass to the neutral zone. Nothing doing there. And over to play to play with Gage Reiners. Now on the puck, it's going to be Henry Rose. He tries to fight his way through. Henry Rose, of course, not to be confused with Henry Rose had just graduated from Edina High School last year. Porter across the line. Blocks, shoots. That one blocked. Side of the goal mouth area. Golden opportunity. And Edina players sent packing. Well, I guess there's two Edina teams, but that would be an Edina white player that was sent packing there. 4.26 to go in the second period. 
the score reads three to one. Face off is controlled and Nettle poked up through center. Kozlak comes over to try to get some hands there. Man goes down. Saved by Blanton. He'll hang on. And the faceoff will come up inside his zone. Edina on Edina here with the greens and the whites. The second such championship. Three of the championships are all Edina championships. The squirt B, Pee B2, Bantam C. Terrific Ben of B2 championship game coming up. That'll be at 8 o'clock tonight. Johnson in his own zone. Chases that one down for Edina Black. Nice offensive zone work on the four check. Clear to the wall. Reppenhagen comes over. Puck is played back up through. Off the right wing side. Oh, with an open look. A shot and a save. Blanton the rebound. Another save. Puck still loose. Rolls away. And it's going to be blacked out. That right up the middle. That's off the stick of Johnson as he'll chase it down. Tristan Johnson sends a long pass to the center ice area. And just pulling himself offside was an Edina Black player. Center it goes. Klarkowski runs into traffic. Shot sent toward the goal mouth there. It is steered out of there by Jake Grant. Up through center. Summerness has it, plays it wide. Sullivan to the corner. Poor check by Rondis Beth. He has two goals here this evening. Marker the wrist shot, the deflection, the save, the rebound. Pope Aikens has it. Plenty of time up from the left point. Content to play this one down low. Now it's going to be. Rondis Fett, that's there, loses the handle. And it's turned back over. Dinah White's Carlson with it. Shot and a pad save. Turned aside. That one by Branton, rather. Bennett is in goal for Dinah White in the green. Boy, keeping this all straight has been a bit of a project, to say the least. Hopefully you're enjoying this evening's game here on EdinaTourney.com. 147 to go in the period. Puck is chipped up high in the slot area to the right point. Slapper taken there. Off the wall, Aiken plays ahead. And here comes Shogren out of the zone. Shogren's going to try to work the rail. Porter says no, but Shogren says yes. He regains possession back behind the net. Boy, he's a big body to handle down low. Shogren spinning him around like tops down there. Puck is played by Porter, but really quick hustle there on the forecheck, creating all sorts of trouble. They hang on as the puck's played up high. Shogren is there, turns and plays that down the wall. Porter again comes away with it. He'll ring the wall. One minute remains in the period. That's off post. Now the puck is played off the wall, back through center ice it goes. Post will try to race down the loose change. Here he comes, looking to extend the lead. Post in front. Oh, what a save. And back out of the zone comes Edina Black. That one sent through and icing the call. Shots on goal. Read for Edina White, 15, and for Edina Black, 3. 13 rather, with three goals. 
So three to one, your score, 39.7 showing on the clock. That hits the traffic in front. Bumped in back behind the net by the defense. At the line, held in again. That was Gullickson on that play. Across the line they go. Turning it back up ice, it's Reppenhagen. Reppenhagen tries to play a rink wide. Looking for his man and Haberman. Now it's going to be picked up and shot. That's deflected with a good angle there by Quinn Peterson. Battle off the end line. Haberman gets it back. And that'll do it for the second period. And a big one to say the least for Edina Black as they go from a one-all tie to a 3-1 lead here. Looking to add to that in the third period. time ladies and gentlemen here we go third period championship game action of the Wee B2 the Edina Bob O'Connor 30th annual tournament Bob O'Connor of course all the famer from all levels of Edina hockey really made his impact and educating and a lot of people that are in the parental range now in Edina have been impacted by him if they played up through the system Post lack shots deflected. They play it to the low goal mouth area. Dyka swats that to the corner. The, the team that is leading is Edina Black, and they're in white. They lead by a score of 3 1 over Edina White, who's in green and working the offensive zone. Akins will play this one to the corner. Guides it up the wall. Pitching down low, it's Quinn Peterson. Bodies flying everywhere. That's just going to be cleared to safety. And the length of the ice. 6.40 is your slated start time in about 30 minutes for the Bantam C Championship tilt. The Bantam B2 Championship contest is slated for 9 o'clock. Or 8 o'clock, rather. Watson has it, Sullivan from the left point. Sends a shot in, that's picked off and played back up ice, Klarkowski. Klarkowski gets away from one man, tries to get through another, can't finish the deal there as he lost the handle, but gets it back. Klarkowski, they'll try to cycle the corner. Play it back up high for Johnson. He holds it, plays this one wide of the net, Porter is there, rings the wall, and it's played by Carlson back up to center. Stepping up to make the play is Marker. Nifty little play. He walks from the slot area. That hits traffic. And it's played back up through safety. And to the corner it goes. That one's deflected. And behind the net. Sullivan is there. Looks for the left wing. Breakout goes blast. But Marker holds it in. That's off Watson to the right wing wall. Edina White breaks back through center. Nice little touch pass there on the move. Kearney is there, plays that down low. That's off marker. They'll play that to the left wing side. Sliding over, that's going to be Summertis. And sent back in. Porter will chase it down in his own zone. He'll gather up the puck, carries it from right to left. Gets away from one man, but can't get away from Habino, who made a nice read. Four check ensues by Nate Gullickson. Back through traffic, handled off the stick. 
And it's Aikens with it. That hits traffic. Rose will send it right back in. Aikens retreats. Free Dinah Black in his own zone. Guides it along the wall. Chauvin. Gullickson now across the line. Looks wide. Bothered by Johnson who makes a nice play to break that one up. Players it to an open wing. We'll see if it does not have enough for an icing. And sliding out of the zone now will be Dinah Black. Looking to break out. Habino plays that one up, looking for Gullickson. Now it's off the stick and controlled once again by Edina Black through center on that puck. That was Gullickson takes a swing at that one. Habino is there. Looking up on the near wall. Chance the net. Cabino bids, poke to safety. Nifty job there by Nicholas Morris. Neutral zone. Puck is sent to the right wing side. Nice pass there, nifty move. Partial breakaway. Backhander wide of the cage by Brian Post. Now it's gonna be Nate Gullickson. Pushing it up the left wing wall, back into the neutral zone. Morris with it, plays it off the boards. Played back into the Edina zone. They're gonna, well, I guess, pick it. The Edina White zone. Reppenhagen was there. Rink wide for post. He has Rose at the line, but plenty of support on the back check by Edina Black. They working out of their own zone right now. Enfeld plays ahead. Reppenhagen slides down. It's gonna be Schieffert, plays it to the left wing side. He'll get the pass back from Reiners. Ooh. He nearly had an opportunity on a rebound. Did Reiners as he and Schieffert were working it down low. Reppenhagen comes away with it. Turns it back up ice. That's on the stick of post. He guides it up to the right wing side. Look out, Kozlak's going to the net. There's a shot. That one wide of the net. Bratton was there. And the puck will be played to the right wing side. Schieffert plays this one along for Reiners. He has Gullickson with him to the goal mouth area. Reiners tried to dangle his way through traffic. Couldn't slice and dice. And Edina White on the turnover back out. Kozlak sprung up the left wing side. Here's Kozlak. Rister. Oh, glove seven ability. Wow. Flash in the leather. Jake Brat getting the job done. Wow. What a save. The intensity and puck movement's been terrific here to start this period with 6.57 to go. Edina White trying to cut into that 3-1 deficit. And Edina Black in their white jerseys come across the line. Parkowski dangles, holds, shoots. That one wide of the net. Parkowski gets it back. They've got a man open down low in front. There he is. Shot. Scores! Ronis Matt gets his hat trick. What a great job by him to sit down low and back up and find the soft spot, as we like to say, and bury for the 4 to 1 lead. 16 and 14. Here comes Rondis Fett, he's not done. Back in behind the net, played back up to the line, off the stick, rolling puck, high off the glass. It'll be picked up and carried out of the zone. Four to one, the lead, Edina Black is looking pretty comfortable here. There's a shot that's pushed wide of that. Score doesn't indicate how even these two teams are matched. Aiken shots pushed into the corner. Porter will come over to handle the puck. His team scored first to take the one to nothing lead. Porter's gonna muscle this one out of the zone. Oh, he gets can opener action there. Draws the penalty in the neutral zone. And we'll have a power play coming up with 5.44 to go. We'll see how that works. Eight hook. So the hooking call will be dished out to number eight, Nick Cabino.
Reppin Hagen plays it right wing side. They battle in front of the penalty box area. Shoveled up the right wing wall. Five twenty to go in the period. Dinah White wants to get that lead. Deficit cut to four to two. There's a good opportunity there, but there to shut the door was Jake Branton. He's been solid tonight. Both goaltenders have. Had great evenings and great tournaments, to say the least. Don't forget, folks, as we mentioned before, coming up in about, say, 20 minutes or so, 23 minutes, we'll have the Bantam Sea Championship. Couple of Edina teams, green and white. The bitter rivalry will rage on here on EdinaAttorney.com. Looking forward to calling that one for you. Chris shot steered wide of the net by Branton again. And played to safety on the PK by Edina Black. Morris with it will regroup in his own zone. Looking a little bit like Jonas Brody. Puck is played to the neutral zone. Off the boards. And it's going to be Morris again with it. Gives back off for his partner, Rep Reppenhagen. He's going to control the puck through center. Gains the line with a purposeful rush. To the backhand he goes, but he has that swatted off his stick. Kozlak, his team's lone goal scorer, bids for number two. Played with the glove by Branton. He hangs on as he goes down to cover it up. And the faceoff will come up to the right. That one's cleared through everyone. Porter will chase this one down. Reiners is on him. Porter not phased by the stick slap at all. And he's going to race up ice. Wow, look at this dangle fest. Porter with it. Takes it wide to the right. He's going to carry it low. Nice little move there in front. Oh, a great chance. Porter gets it back. Nearly puts that one home. Great end-to-end -end rush with some puck movement at the end of it. Nearly got a rebound opportunity out of it. Eight to go on the man advantage, thrown back in by Edina White. They trail four to one with three minutes, 45 seconds to go here in the period. Rose is there, now it's five on five hockey. Puck will rattle its way in. No ice on the play. Sullivan will gather in the loose change. He has an oncoming four checker and Kuchokas. As is played back at the line. Turned back up by Klarkowski. Now Rose. Look, over, look out, over comes Summerness with it. And that one's going to be offside with 3.18 to go in the third period. At the center red line, it's bumped off the wall. Sullivan takes over. Gets away from one man. Nice little play to the left wing side for Kearney. He'll gain the line. Kearney plays it to the slot, but that was supported and picked off neatly there. That one fails to click in the neutral zone. And it's going to be turned back the other way by Henry Watson. Watson gets the puck back, albeit momentarily, and the puck's played right back into the Dyna white zone. Put on the brakes and look back up ice. Picked off and gathered in. Played down the wall. Nice little pinch there. Summerness was there. They play behind the net. 2.33 to go in the period. Back up ice they go. That's deflected. Reppin Hagen comes over, gathers in the loose chain, gets away from one man, tries to dangle through traffic, does. Gets the line, but there's Edina Black. Terrific defensive posture here in the third period. Off the stick of Parkowski. Moore is with it. Now it's going to be Shogren to support. Walks down the line. He plays to the low goal of Altheria. That hits a pair of skates. Now Enfeld with it. He plays back in behind the net. Loose change picked up by Gullickson. He spun off the puck. Tries to hound it on the way back out. Nifty little move there by Quinn Peterson. To the left wing side. That fails to click. And it's going to be pushed back up the line. And icing the call with 1.45 to go. So a face-off inside the 
Edina White zone. Patrick Bennett has not seen a lot of work here in this third period. This team has really had a lot of the possession here. Got a couple of scoring chances, but credit Edina Black for shutting the door. Another icing call with now buck 34 showing on the clock. Left wing on the breakout, they go out of the zone. Kozlak with it, races up the wall. Kozlak will be watched on the play by Habino, and it's gonna be Kozlak to play up, and it's gonna be turned up the ice by Gullickson. At the center red, they're gonna play to an open wing. Gathering in the loose changes, Haberman. Tries to find his man in the middle, and Peterson, nothing doing there. Haberman slides over, Chauvin. Up the ice on the left wing side. One minute remains in the period. And it's Kozlak across the line. Nice, no, a little toe drag into the slot. That was a bomb. They score! What a play there. Kozlak creates from the blue line into the slot area and pumps that one with a nice pass and a one-timer. Tic-tac-toe going the whole way. Eight Very from impressive. 14 and 21. There you go, so it's eight from 14 to 21. That's Haberman from Peterson and Billy Kozlak. Four to two, the score now. Edina White rewarded for some great play here through the third period, some good creativity. Billy Kozlak ran out of real estate, was able to make the move. Reppenhagen, Carlson, oh, a save and rebound. Oh, and they run the goalie over. We're gonna face this one off outside, but that puck was inches away from being a 4-3 game late here in the third period. Wow, getting a little bit dicey out here. stays in the net. There's a shot. That's wide of the net. Edina White with 17 to go. Needs to make up ground with two quick ones here. Rapid Hagen walks the line with nine to go. Pad save and a good one there by Bratton. He continues to make the save now. Shots on goal. 19 to 12 in favor of Edina Black. But more importantly, they win the championship of the Bob O'Connor tournament by a score of four to two. As the celebration is on for this hockey club. Great game for these two teams. We're gonna take it downstairs for the awards ceremony. Don't forget at 640, we're gonna be bringing you the Bantam Sea Championship between Edina Green and Edina White.
There you go, the celebrations ensue. Your champions of the Bob O'Connor Tournament at the Pee Wee B2 level is Edina Black wearing the white jerseys by a score of 4-2 over Edina White. That's going to do it here tonight. Thanks a lot, everybody. Uh, don't forget to check out our next game coming up at 6.40. Edina Green and Edina White. Madam C Championship action. Two more games to go right here on EdinaTourney.com. For Todd Grover and Joey Hatches, I'm Pete Wagner. So long, everybody.